Hi everybody, just a short video today to look at a tool that's going to help us in Civil 3D when it comes to creating surfaces. Specifically, I'm working on a project and uh, you can see the aerial photo in the background that we're working with right now. And I've got some geospatial information that represents contours in that area. Uh, which is great if I'd like to see the contours in a geospatial format, but I'd like to be able to leverage those contours as a civil 3D surface. Now there's a few ways of doing that with a workflow that, you know, I might have to go through several different steps to convert it, but I'd like to show you, fortunately for us in civil 3D, there's a tool that will do that for us automatically. So let's first take a look at the contours themselves. So I've got a shape file here is what they're currently in. I'm going to drag that into my file and let go. We see the contour is displayed, and if we come over and bring up the map uh, task pane, we'll turn that on, uh, we can see our, our contour information. So we see it represents the, the full area of what I'm interested in, but once again, like I said, that helps us that I can see the contour data itself, but it doesn't help me in that I'd, uh, I'd like to have it in the surface such that I could leverage it for a profile or cross sections or calculating earthwork or doing grading or something like that. So let's do this. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and turn that, uh, turn that off. We don't need to bring them in through a drag and drop operation. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the shapefile and build a surface directly from that. The way that we'll do that is I'll come to the Home tab here. We'll come down under Surfaces and we've got the tool right underneath that that's Create Surface from GIS Data. Alright, so that's the our tool for Tuesday, the command of the day, create surface from GIS data. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Uh, dialog box is displayed for me. It's a wizard. We'll just go through and answer the questions. First thing it wants to know is that the object we're going to create, we can create a surface. We'll go ahead, uh, I'll give it a name. We'll call this uh, existing ground uh, from GIS. Sometimes I like to notate where the data came from so that we don't inadvertently think it was done from a survey. Style, just because 1 in 5 background by default is kind of a dark gray, I uh, might not be able to see that across my aerial very well. I'm going to set it to design for right now, just a little brighter color. We'll say next. Connect to data. We've got several options. I can connect to an Arc SDE, uh, an Oracle file, or to a shape. In this case, the data is in a shape file. Let's navigate out to that uh, shape file. So it's our contours.shp. And then if that file required us uh, to put in a username or a password to log in, we would. Otherwise, in most cases, that's not required. Uh, it wasn't set up that way. We'll just click on Login. Connects to the information for us. So it tells me the feature class, in this case, the shapefile, the name of it was Contours. That's where this name came from. We can see the coordinate system it was in. Uh, that matches the system I'm currently in, but I believe it would transform it if uh, if it needed to be transformed. But the uh, NAT83 Illinois State Plain East U.S. foot is where we currently are. So we'll go ahead and select those. We'd like to bring that in. Uh, we'll say next. We'll come down, uh, define area of interest. I can window, fence, circle. I can tell inside or crossing. And I believe if I were to uncheck that, it would give me all of them. So just, you know, to add a little extra flexibility in that, we'll do polygon. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll say crossing, so anything that a contour crosses, so it doesn't have to sp be specifically within that polygon. We'll select this and then we'll pick our points. So we'll say we're going to not select a polygon off the screen, but rather create a new one. So we'll pick the points to define the area that I'm interested in. We'll come back and we'll right click to hit enter. That's been created. We'll then say next. What it's looking for is just so that, you know, we just don't get contours on the screen. We need to have elevations for those contours. So in this case, the, the elevations themselves are um, uh, notated as an attribute in the shapefile. Uh, these are the attributes that are currently in the shapefile. I've got color, elevation, length, and I've got a ge geometric or geometry attribute. So what I want to do is use elevation, and I want to map that to the Civil 3D property, in this case, elevation for my surface. And then what we could do is we could assign this a name. Let's say that maybe we'll be getting updates for these files or we do this on a regular basis. I could assign this a name so that all the mapping would be consistent in the future. So we'll go ahead and we'll click Finish. Processes my data. I've got a surface now that's been created. We can hover over 
various portions of the surface, we see that it's a civil 3D for surface and we're able to go from there. It lists in our tool space. So from here we can use it for profiles, we can use it for cross sections, earthwork, uh, and whatever our, our model requires from a civil perspective. So with that, I um, hope this information has been helpful. Using this, we can take standard GIS data and immediately convert those contours in a shapefile directly to a Civil 3D surface that we can consume in Civil 3D. So I hope this is helpful. Look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.